Hi guys, today I'm sharing this piece with you. It's a beautiful retro tray that I painted and I'm doing chevrons again. Describing how I do this is way harder than actually doing this. So basically I just drew a center line down the middle of the tray and that will guide your triangles going down. So there's a line in the center there. And then to get your first triangle shape, all you do is get a parallel line across the piece and join up the left line to the center and then the right line to the center <laughs> and that if you do a spacer all the way along with a tiny piece of tape that will mean that all your lines will be the same angle and that's what I did. So the thin tape is Tamiya masking tape and you can see here I'm just rubbing down all the masking tape to make sure that there's no bleeding. There's no bleeds on this piece as far as I remember. So I rubbed it down really, really well. And that's the Tamiya masking tape there. It's for like little model toys, but it's super, super good. And it's really good for like retro designs like this. And um, it's just a really thin masking tape. So I think I'm talking in this video and that's why, <laughs> why I'm acting a bit crazy. But um, yeah, so where the thin masking tape is, there's gonna be a line obviously of the navy tray paint that's behind it. And if you want to see how to prep this piece, you can obviously check out my furniture prep video that I'll link below. And now I'm just sealing all the tape. So I'm going back in with the navy that I painted this piece with. This basically means that any paint that does seep through and get underneath the tape will be the navy. And when I go in with the brighter colors that these won't seep through and cause any spillage underneath the tape. So this is genius and I got this from Banyan Bridges. Next you'll see me going in with my colours. You'll see I'm doing two lines with this yellow because I find that um, these brighter colours can have poor coverage. So I use Little Star by Fusion because that yellow has amazing coverage. Um, you can see that's one coat over in navy which is just phenomenal. So I'm using that under the gold as well just to give it some extra coverage. And to be honest I should have used it under the Tuscan orange because um, it really helps but I didn't realise back then. So yeah and now I've got some tape peeling satisfaction for you. You can really see that the sealing of the tape really really worked and um, because when I'm peeling this off there's just no spill underneath and they're the superest the superest <laughs> crispest lines ever and um, there's just no there's just no issues it's beautiful the only problem is when you're using the thin masking tape is that if you're doing two colors it's really hard to paint along because it's such a thin line to not get the corresponding color on the next color if that makes sense so like the red and orange here it's difficult to not get the red on the orange and vice versa because this is such thin tape but it is really cool and you can create some cool designs with it that is the end result if you like this video make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and check out my instagram for more photos of this project thanks so much guys